Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. Let's go, shall we? Uh, we've got a few little bits and bobs to do here. So, if I can just load up my notes. If I can actually use the right tablet, that'd be great. Uh, so, um, we actually only have two Moonfish left to get, like, in the game. Which is pretty freaking sweet, if I uh, might add. Uh, we've got all of those. Good, good. Um, two moonfish left. Now, we do have two chams left to collect here. We got the one on uh, Hamachow Island. So there's another one in Upper Sky. Did we get... Oh, God, I can't remember, actually. There's potentially a cham on this island. Did we get this one? I think we did. In which case, if we did get this cham, let's go quickly check uh, if my controller could stop spacking out. If we can quickly check, um, that means there's only two chams left to get in the game. And there's only two moonfish left to get in the game. Which is rather fantastic. Pretty sure we did get this one though. For some reason I haven't updated my notes. Do you know why? Because I'm a stupid ass. Right. Uh, cham it says. So. Stand on the middle of the blue cable. Apparently. So. We have the cham, I guess. Sweet. Okay, we're really wrapping up these loose items. Nice. So the next chams we have to find aren't until a little bit longer. Uh, and the last two chams are in the, in the same-ish area, same dungeon. So fantastic. Right, let's, in that case, take our asses back to Crescent Isle. Sure, let's go move the plot on. Because that is what the game demands. And if that is what the game demands, that is what we shall do. Uh, although, I suppose we, we could do, whilst we're fast-forwarding, we could zoom down to Hamachow Island. Although, the one problem with Hamachow Island is it doesn't tell us how many ship battles we've been in. Because, to unlock all the last goodies, we need to get all of the uh, discoveries, which we only have one left. Uh, we need to fight two and a half thousand enemies, which we've definitely done. Um, what else do we need to do? All crew members, which we've done. Twelve non-story ship battles, which we've done. All bounties defeated. Well, that's in progress. All discoveries, that's in progress. 90% or higher treasure discovery. Let's have a little look. We must be close to that, I would have thought. You again, chirp! You're interrupting our privacy again. I don't want to know what you're doing here. Uh, treasure hunting skills. 86%. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we've caught 421 fish. We need to catch it's like two and a half thousand fish to get a certain uh, thing, but that's fine. Okay. Right. Fine. Happy. Sorted. 86%. So we need 4% more treasure chests. Well, that's a problem that's certainly going to solve itself in the not too distant future. So we now need to go back to Crescent Isle, which is north. And we can fast forward. Let's get out of here. At least I'm pretty sure they said we've got to go to uh, Crescent Island. I'm sure we're about to find out. Now, where is Crescent Island? Uh, if we start dropping down, we should get to it. Look at that. Look at that. Lovely. Hey, Gilda's here. Hey, long time no see. Well, you've got yourself a nice little base set up here. Oh. Gilda! <laughs> Vase look 
thinks trouble's afoot, whereas Ica seems to be very happy indeed. I heard that you sailed around the world. Always at... Uh, as always, kid, it sounds like you've been trying to get yourself into more trouble. I came here to hear all about your travels. That and for a good meal. Well, I'm sure we can sort that out. <laughs> good old Gilda. Pleasure before business. I'm sure the food here is excellent, thanks to our two chefs. So, you went to Yafatoma and then on to the land of ice, huh? Just listening to your stories makes my adrenaline flow. Uh, let's not talk about your adrenaline. Uh, and so in the end, you collected the five moon crystals. Nice work. Ooh, they look cool. Yep, we got them all. <laughs> Sonic got them all. Ah, uh, sorry, wrong game. And since all of them are together, I suppose that means Fina will be taking them with her when she heads home. Yes. Actually, there was something that was bothering me from earlier. Fina, where exactly did you come from? I mean, where are you going home to? Ah, that soured the mood. Fina? The place to which I must return, the place where both uh, Ramirez and I were born and raised, is the Great Sil uh, Silver Shrine. It is in a place high above the sky. The Great Silver Shrine? Long ago, when the rains of destruction fell upon the lands and most of the world's population was killed, all seemed lost. The most powerful silverite mages met at the shrine. They combined their energy to send it into the sky, above the destruction. They escaped the horrible fate that fell on the rest of the world by raising above the destruction. Ever since then, from above, we have sworn to protect the people of this world from the same fate that our ancestors suffered. So they have ascended to the heavens and uh, watch down on everyone else okay that is the primary mission of the remaining uh, silvites the great silver shrine is high above the clouds where no ship can reach it I plan to take the moon crystals back to the great silver shrine so no one will ever be able to abuse their power again but how are you gonna get home if I can get back the ship that I came in then I should be able to make it home but when I was attacked by Valua, my ship sank beneath the clouds. Yeah, I remember. You're talking about the ship you were flying when Alfonso attacked you. Uh, it appears that we must find another way of getting Fina home. But if we find a way to get Fina back home, does that mean we'll have to say goodbye? We'll never get to see her again. Lately, sometimes I find myself thinking... I started thinking if I'm unable to find a way home, that I'll be able to stay here with everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so silly of me. My orders were to gather the moon crystals and return them to the great silver oak shrine with them. Hmm. Ramirez, what's the status of the construction of Dangural Island? Yes, my lord. The construction of the port is complete, and Diloco's flagship is currently being fitted so that it will be able to submerge into deep sky. I've also received word that the elevator leaving, uh, leading to the bottom of deep sky has been completed as well. <laughs> Excellent. The time grows near. Soon the foolish empress and the rest of the people of the world will bow before my might. No, not just the people. The people and even those revered moons. Soon they shall all be in my grasp. The people, the lands, even the moons, they will belong to me. 
You shall reign supreme, Lord Gaussian. Tomorrow morning, I will leave for Dangurul. I wish to oversee the final stages of the construction myself. And tell the other admirals to assemble at Dangurul. I wish to know where they stand. Yes, Lord Gaussian. I walk the path of death and destruction. I know you are a Sylvite. If you wish to change your mind, now is the time. I chose long ago to walk the path that you walk upon, Lord Galcian. I shall forever be at your side, and I will cut down any of those that block our path. Tis my duty. It is my purpose. You snivelling little turd. Truly pure evil is afoot. Well, Oh, look at that. we got a picture of dear old dad on our side. Alright, well, that was a nice refreshing nap. Let's go and have a little look around, shall we? Uh, we don't need to talk to her. Let's have a look in here. See if we can talk to the sword guy. I don't think we can upgrade our sword just yet, though. I've got a collection of some of the finest weapons that you'll ever see. Right, let's have a look. Oh yeah, we bought the wind slicer from him, didn't we? Of course we did. Right, well, there ain't much there. Okay, cool. What are you going to do? We're going to get out of here. A warrior who neglects his weapon is living on borrowed time. Exactly. She's just sitting there fanning herself. Please, take a look around. I've got items galore. What exactly do you have? You've got the... You sell all the boxes. Don't we really care about the boxes. Yeah, that's all you sell. Yeah, okay. Not exactly... Worth it for us, I don't think. Alright. I'll see you later. Uh, let's go see if we can find the rest of our friends. So, everyone else had a good night's rest? I bet they're not in their rooms, are they? Probably not. Oh, maybe. alright, well maybe they are. Now we can go higher and lower than ever before. We can explore all of the places we haven't been to yet. Yeah, there ain't many of those, just saying. Uh, especially if we're looking at our discoveries. Hey, Fina. We finally gathered all of the moon crystals. My mission is finally over. Thank you for all of your help. Yeah, something's about to go down. Well, this is our room. Hmm. Where is Enrique? Oh, is there fish here yet? So this is a cube shaped fountain that Carla made. Well, I'm sure at least Fina likes it. Ah. Cool. Happy with that. Now, did they put fish in this pond? I don't think they did. Oh, look, there's Vase. There's us. Look at that. <laughs> Brilliant. Excellent. Okay, this is what I like to see. This is a this is actually quite a nice little image of him, to be fair. Ah, uh, look at this. Gonzalez, your memory will always be with us. Please watch over us in our times of need. So he is now the pirate god. Okay. They really spent spared no expense on his grave, did they? Which is good. I'm sure. Okay, let's go jump on our ship. Actually, are we supposed to be having another meeting upstairs? Possibly. <laughs> I guess that kind of makes sense. Because we didn't really discuss any kind of plan of attack, did we? Definitely uh, liking this art style. And we have one of the fanciest islands ever created. 
Although, why do I get the feeling that it's all going to be destroyed? Ah. Save A's, how's it going? Still trying to explore as much of the world as you can, I see. Well then, let me check out your discovery log. Ah, you've made 87 discoveries. You really are great, Vase. Not many people can boast discovering this many things in a single lifetime, you know. You really are the greatest air pirate that ever lived. Well, I believe so. Anyway, but I, like I promised, here's your gift. Whoa, okay. Now, if you can completely fill up your discovery log, then I will give you my most prized possession. Mm. Oh, dude, look at that. It's our ship. We really are doing quite well for ourselves, aren't we? My god. No expense spared. So anyway, we've got some seeds to spend now, I suppose. Uh, how many seeds? Right. Increases power. Phase. Uh, increases will. Fina. Increases vigor. I don't remember what Vigor does. I'll give it a vase. Uh, and increases quick. You know what, Ica? Have some quick. Anything else? Nope, that's good. Right, cool. 87 discoveries. I thought. Hang on. How many discoveries is there? Let's have a look. That's crew members. Winter orb. Nope, that's chests. Armor. Come on, where's discoveries? Key items. We don't care about key items. Where's our discoveries? Okay. Because I thought there was 90 discoveries. But maybe there's more than that. Uh, right, so discoveries is item number 5. Out of 15 on this book. Right, so here's the discoveries. Because if there's... More than 88, then we've missed one, potentially. Right, okay. How many did he say we had? So, technically, we're missing two. 87, right. Bugger. So, what are we missing? That's a pain in the ass. I thought we were missing one. Not two. Journal discoveries. Uh, long line. Can't get that one yet. Right, well, I guess whatever it is, it's story progression, which is fine. Oh, wait, I think I know what it is. Okay, yeah, I, th I think we're okay. I think we're still on track. Okay, that's fine. Bit of a panic there. 89 discoveries. You would have thought they would have rounded it up to like 90. I mean, come on. I'm glad they didn't. Because, you know, there's already quite a few. Now, let's go get in our ship. And I suppose we're going to head down below the sky. I guess. And have a little look down at this new Dangul Island. See if we can't kick an ass or two whilst we're there. Oh, hello. Coffee is still too hot. Hey, Vase. Thanks for the food yesterday. It was delicious. You are most welcome, dude. Oh, Gilda, you're leaving already? Yeah, I need to get going, but before I go, I have some news for you. 
I found out some information on the Amada's latest project. I just heard about this the other day. It appears that Valua has begun advancing into the lower altitudes. I heard that north of Pirate Isle, somewhere beneath the clouds, they're building a base on Dangul Island. It's just a rumour, but I heard they're building a ship that can go into deep sky. Deep sky? Yeah, beneath the thick layer of clouds immersed in total darkness, there is a bottom of this world. No one's ever seen what's below the clouds, but some people say it's completely dead. What could they be looking for down there? I don't know, but Fina's ship sank beneath the clouds, right? Yeah, you're right. That must be what they're after. Thanks, Gilda. We'll go check it out. You're one of the good ones, buddy. You don't need to thank me. Good luck, Vase. You are one of the good ones, my friend. So, that is where we're going. Let's drop another save. That'll do. Okay, cool. Let's go. Uh, up here. Hopefully, we're ship shape and Bristol fashion. Now, so we're going to head beneath the clouds. And I'm sure that island was like somewhere down here ish. Right, okay, let's submerge. Blow the ballast tanks or whatever this thing has. And let's freaking go. Although, we're going to have rifts and things. No, we're going the wrong way. Of course, we're going the wrong way. What? What is this? There we go. Cool. Right, all systems, full steam ahead. I wonder if that means we're going to have enemy ships under under the clouds. So this is where the value and territory started. Kind of. That is not what we want. Oh, some fish here. Sure, we'll have those. Because... Because why not? Damn it! Right, um, so Jurungal Island. Is it like over here somewhere or? They say it's north of Sailor's Island, didn't they? Which is there. So let's head to Sailor's Island. Which is here. And then north. Oh, fish. And then north. So let's have a little squiz, shall we? Hit the deck. Hmm. Ooh. Seahorse type. Oh, these are A's. We oh, definitely want these bad boys. I don't think we've caught these before, have we? I wonder how much these seahorse things are worth. Seahorse? Skyhorse? Skyhorse kind of makes me think of Pegasus or something. Not necessarily seahorse fish in the sky. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. Grab as many of these as we can. I'm sure they're worth a pretty penny. Not that we need money, but you know, I mean, who who doesn't like money? Pirates like money. I assume pirates like money. They might just like shiny things, you know? Come on. Oh, God. Uh, right. That should do. We kind of remember where these things are. Oh, hello. He's just asking to be caught. I wonder if these are to scale. If these are to scale, that's concerning. I mean, I suppose if we keep them alive, they would feed the crew for a while. But then if they're genuinely that valuable... Don't really want them to feed the crew, do you? Sell them for their skin. Cool. So where, oh where, is this Jurungle Island? It was, I know it was by a rift somewhere, wasn't it? Hmm. And it was by a load of rocks, if memory serves. Don't think it was this far over. Where are we on the map? Yeah, not this far over. I'm pretty sure. Actually, thinking about it, wasn't it here? I think it was. I'm 
Where are you? What are these fish? Are these just common... Common muck fish? I can't even grab one. Oh, they're bees. Yeah, we don't really care about bees. So... Ah, right. This is looking promising. I think. Is it? Is this looking promising? Do I have to look up? Nope, we've gone the wrong way. Son of a... That's the fish's fault. Probably. Ah, there we go. Ha ha! Let's go have a little look, shall we? 125 minutes? Really? God damn it. Admirals of the Value and Armada, I have urgent news that affects all of you. Ho ho, words of wisdom from the Grand Admiral himself. Please enlighten us. From this day forth, the Armada will no longer be under the Empress's control. Uh, those that do not wish to walk this path I have chosen, leave now. Those who wish to hear the, my plans, stay. What, what, what is this? Admiral Galcian, do you know what you're saying? Have you gone insane, Galcian? Are you rebelling against the Empress? <laughs> Fear not, Halfonso. I still have my wits about me. I'm following my own path. It is your decision whether or not you wish to follow me. <laughs> so, Galcian finally shows his true intentions. Those words are treasonous. The punishment is death. Ramirez, if you speak in that matter again, I shall cleave you in two. Alright, pretty boy, calm down. No! What, what do you mean? <laughs> Wait, Ramirez, there's no need for you to waste your energy on this whelp. <laughs> I love that. Uh, what about the rest of you? Will you follow me? Lord Galcian? It doesn't make a difference to me as long as I get to fight. I don't care who's in charge. I'll stay in the Armada as well. I still haven't finished building the ship that can go into deep sky. Also, if I stay in the Armada, I'll probably get to fight Vase again. <laughs> yeah, well... Careful what you wish for, buddy. Gregorio is just silent. Gregorio, what will you do? Lord Galcian, what is your goal? I do not think that you are seeking the Imperial Throne. What is it you want? <laughs> you are correct. That is not my goal. I want more power. More control than Valuer has ever had. That is all I will say for now. Lord Galcian, just what are you up to? Here we go, monologue time. Nope, maybe not. <gasps> and we're out of time. Ugh. We're gonna have to leave that for another video when we delve deep into the depths and find out what's really going on around here. So, when we come back, guys, I guess we're going down into this deep hole, which looks deliciously unguarded. So, till then, thanks for watching.